How to tie a double Windsor knot. A double Windsor knot, also known as a full Windsor, gives you a much fuller knot than the foreign hand or the half Windsor. You will need a necktie, a dress shirt, and a mirror. Step one, face the mirror, flip up the collar of your dress shirt, and button the top button. Use the double Windsor knot instead of the more basic foreign hand for more formal occasions. Step two, Drape the necktie around your neck so the wide end is on your right and the thin end is on your left. The wide end should hang about a foot longer than the thin end. Step 3. Hold the wide end in your right hand and the thin end in your left and cross the wide end over the thin end. Allow 6 to 8 inches of the thin end to hang below the intersection point. Step 4. Bring the wide end behind and through the loop around your neck and pull it downward. Step 5. Wrap the wide end around the back of the narrow end and thread it upward and through the neck loop again. Step 6. Wrap the wide end around the knot and pull it to the right. Then bring it around the back and upward through the loop. Finally, tuck it into the loop in front of the knot that was created by wrapping the wide end around the knot and pull the end through. Step 7. Adjust the double Windsor knot so that it is centered and the angles are sharp. Pull the collar down when you are satisfied with the shape of your knot. Did you know? More than 900 years old, Windsor Castle is the largest occupied castle in the world and is an official residence of the Queen of England.